hello this is the Adamson and today we are going to do another seashell and this one's going to be slightly different from the previous video and if you're interested to see the one that I printed on the left hand side just check my channel and you can find it there on the shelves and what I'm doing with this one is going to be much easier and faster painting. So in real time, this was under eight minutes of a painting and I will make it easy for you guys. I will have in the description below links to a traceable and also all the materials you need or um, if you have that really uses very few colors. So the most important thing is to have these lines a little bit darker than the rest which will push them back and then also the little circles are uh, little Audis so we are going to make sure that they're getting a little bit of a shadow too. Obviously the part that it's on the top of the shell is going to have more light than the part that is touching the ground so we are going to increase the value of the color on the shadow side we're going to make it a little bit darker so to make your um, blue a little darker you can add a black in it and actually the black that i'm adding in it's not pure black and it's a very very little amount of that into the blue but um, it helps to make the value of my color and that here a little bit um, deeper and obviously darker and i'm using wet on wet technique so with that i have to be very careful not to make this little circles wet so i'm going around each circle and then i'm going to drop some paint on some of the areas and leave it alone and the paint's gonna start moving around and a lot of times um, you have to probably wait um, depending on how much water you have on the canvas or the paper um, you're gonna wait from a few seconds to just watching it always less than a minute things are moving around and changing until that dries um, for the center that little black area which is a hole what you want to do is create two parts one a little bit lighter a little bit more grayish um, so add more blue in it and the other one and the other one is going to be a little bit darker so the same way it is kind of like a circle so make your shadow a C shape um, I added a little bit of uh, reddish orangey color there, but you see it's barely visible. And this is another show I did, which has a lot more um, bright blues in that. And um, it looks very happy, but pretty much this is it. Like I have a little few touches and of course I have to ground that shell so it's not looking like it's floating. Um, and just play a little bit more with my shadows right there it's going to be super easy super fun i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell to get notifications for my future videos so what happens with the shadow i made a kind of a muddy uh, reddish brownish color and um then I'm going to add a little bit purple and black, which purple is made out of two colors and adding a little bit black to that so it can create a little bit more weight to the bottom of or underneath the shell. And um, pretty much that's it. So there it is, it's coming in. But I'm just going around and touching a little bit here and there just to make it, I guess, a little better, but that's it. Thanks for watching. Happy painting.